coming to you one last time from the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. And all I gotta say, it's been a great show, one for the history books. And um, no, as the late Steve Jobs used to say, there is one more thing. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV. wherever I want to be. Cause I'm free in my RV, yeah. uh, One more thing, it's actually not inside the fairgrounds, but out here on the parking lot. And uh, I don't know if you've heard of panoramic RV, but over the years I've been very excited about panoramic and uh, they're usually very hard to see because... Uh, but anyway, I'll let Philip tell us all about it. Hey, good morning. Philip from Panoramic RV uh, here at the Tampa RV Show. So I'm going to give you a quick tour of the panoramic this morning. I'm going to try to do my best to uh, show you some of the features of the van. Uh, this is one of the latest uh, unit that we produce. It's a 2023 chassis, one of the last one, because we're flipping on 2024 very shortly. Uh, on the panoramic, you will notice uh, one thing is that for us, it's very important that we see the nature. So the panoramic has a complete window coverage on each side there is no small acrylic window it's just huge and you will see later from the inside that we have a beautiful view on what's going on outside um, you have a few things that i can i can show you before going inside and describing a little bit the layout that we uh, that we have because the panoramic is a european uh, floor plan so we have a front dining area and a permanent bed at the back but uh, we'll We'll get back to that, we'll step uh, inside. So outside on the side, uh, we have a little bit, a uh, few things that we connect. Uh, we have an electrical uh, outlet there. We have propane connection if you want to connect a barbecue. Little shower here with cold and hot water. The goal is that if we want to set up a little kitchen, uh, plug an induction uh, cooked up or, or have water for the dishes, we have access or plug a barbecue. We also use a Thule uh, awning, so we cover the whole size of the vehicle and uh, that gives us a, a pretty good size uh, awning uh, under here. If you want to come at the back, I'll show you one of the great things when you have a European floor plan. That gives you an amazing storage space. On a Class B, it's uh, difficult to, uh, to, to have uh, uh, that much space. So we have 750 liters of cargo space here at the back. So huge space. Uh, if you have electric foldable bikes, you could, uh, you could put them uh, here, but most, uh, most people like to or prefer to use a bike rack. But whatever you have, golf bags, uh, you want to store barbecue, no more need of having an extra box at the back. You can use uh, all that uh, storage space. We have additional drawer here uh, where you can store uh, hoses, electric, a uh, bunch of uh, adapters or tools if you have some. Uh, here's compartment access for electrical stuff. And we also have our uh, fresh water tank uh, compartment, water pump uh, there and easy access uh, to these things also easy uh, winterization hose but uh, that can uh, that can also be used as uh, sipping water from a container through the water tank so that can be uh, interesting so we'll go back uh, inside and i'll right. show you more um, of what we have oh maybe i can show you on the other side yes. we don't have much space but uh, just want to show you water inlet, electrical connection, little light here on the side to eliminate uh, the side of the van. And we also we've also added on the, on this uh, model a rear an additional uh, backup light because sometimes when people have a bike rack with cover, then it makes it very difficult to see objects. So because these lights can be blocked, so now we're we're adding a little bit of light to to help that. So, 
Welcome inside. Oh, thank you. So, of course, the panoramic, the main feature of this vehicle, it's really a, an hybrid between a European design and the North American autonomy. So we have that front lounge design. Uh, one thing that is nice is that this flexible space where you can move the table, you can adjust if you want more space there or if you want more space here, you can move that. We also have that little extension so if we want to have dinner, four person uh, can be uh, seated uh, here, very comfortable. But also if we need more space for cooking, uh, we can always use that yeah. space to create a great yes. place. And the dining area is a very important area. It's fun that we can sit four person at the same time, but for us, uh, we know that people who spend a lot of time RVing, they like to have a great space for cooking. So. One thing that we like about the panoramic is the fact that we have a huge fridge, 5.3 cubic feet uh, compressor fridge with a separate freezer and extremely efficient in terms of uh, electricity. And still we have counter space, dual burner, propane uh, cooked up and a, and a large and a large frid, uh, a large sink. Sorry, so uh, so good space uh, again to work um, in the sink. Another well, another feature of the panoramic is the uh, the uh, the pantry. Again, sometimes we're 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 all cramped in small spaces, so we wanted to have a great pantry, some something that you can see everything. Uh, and at the same time, when my pantry is open, I can still open the fridge. So easy for finding different things and, and cooking and set up uh, your, your dinner or your lunch. So everything is easy uh, access. We also have um, a great quality in terms of uh, craftsmanship. Uh, we use Bloom sliders. So the best uh, slider that you can buy for a kitchen. Uh, this is a marine uh, plywood core inside, stratwood on both, on both sides, nylon uh, edge, so this is all uh, encapsulated or uh, you know you can drip water on these and, and it will never uh, peel off or it will never separate from the, from the core. So extremely durable, soft clothes, uh, Italian, uh, Italian hardware, so I so just, uh, you know, we try to find always the best element, the best quality. And most people uh, buying a panoramic are people who are second or third RV owners. You know, they, they, they want to step up. They want to have a better quality uh, and they also want to have a, a better uh, design. Now, the other nice aspect about having the permanent bed because or that European floor plan is that now we have a bed that we don't need to, we don't have a puzzle bed that we need yeah, to put up need. and down every morning, every night. Mm -hmm. uh, we're not confined in sleeping in sleeping bag because it takes too long to put the, the sheet uh, on. So that bed stays on. And sometimes, you know, the, the one of the, I think the best thing about this kind of uh, setup is that uh, in, a, in a couple, we're, we're not always on the same schedule. That's true, yeah. I'm super early and my partner is a little bit, well much later in the day so for me it's nice because I can wake up and I have a space where I can have breakfast I can cook I can make coffee I can work on my laptop and I don't have to push her out of the bed you know I I have some space for myself and she can also uh, you know stay in bed a little bit longer same thing happen at night so this is nice and it also gives us that that big uh, that big uh, uh, storage space sometimes we also have that little step here because sometimes you know we want to have easier access to the bed some people are a little bit shorter they My need a little bit of that, that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small thing but it's nice to, that uh, that we have a little bit uh, of help like that uh, we also of course, having a permanent bed it also means that we have a completely flat uh, uh, mattress. So we don't have gaps. We don't have, uh, uh, you know, different cushion or sometimes harder cushion that are made for seating. 
so this is more uh, more con comfortable than any other uh, than yeah, any it's other very bed. There, there's no way to, to remove <clears throat> the bed. Yes. At all, if, if you need to carry something big or something like that. Yes, it's possible to flip completely, and it's fairly oh. uh, it's fairly easy. So it's possible to simply move one piece, and then oh, okay. we can almost flip like, up. Almost like a Murphy bed. Yes. 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 So uh, if you're carrying some big element, it's possible to do that. It's also possible if you're carrying something long to move the the, the panel okay. here, so you can open that panel or completely uh, remove it. So uh, let me just put that back here. So very, very easy to, uh, to put up if you need to, but of course the goal of a permanent bed is to, is, is to stay down. So if I need it, if this is my second vehicle and I want to move something big, yes, I can use it. But, uh, but uh, you know, making it's, the bed up. It's uh, good to have the flexibility if once in a while you need to carry a kayak or something. I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Another. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah, no, very good. No, I was going to ask you. I see you have the Truma Venta air conditioner and I saw that you have the Truma Vario. Uh, we have the water heater as well? No, so, so what we use in the panoramic is a combination. We, yes, we have the Truma Venta because this is the best air conditioner available on the market. So we combine that with the Truma Combi uh, oh, Eco Plus. Combi. Okay. So we use the Combi because it's probably the most compact, but also because in the panoramic you have five vents. You have one in the entrance, one under the bench seat, one in the shower, one here, and one in the cargo area. So the Combi distribute uh, the, the heat very evenly in the whole van, so it makes an extremely comfortable uh, van. And it also gives you a very quickly 15, 20 minutes, you have a full tank of water and you're ready uh, to take one and even two shower in that, uh, in that time. The shower in the bathroom of the panoramic, sometimes, you know, I'll, I'll show you a little bit more the setup because sometimes people, uh, this is one thing where they, they get confused to, you know, why we do it like that. So the, we use a 360 degree curtain to, so we can cover the toilet. And one of the problems that we had previously or that people reported previously on RV is that sometimes when you take your shower and the toilet is all wet and everything is wet, mm -hmm. well, you need to wipe everything and everything is a little bit wet if you want to go back to the toilet. So we use that 360 degree uh, curtain we also removed the sink because we wanted to have more space for the shower and we have the other sink very close by. And now we have a little setup with the curtain where you can simply line up those Velcro to extend the space. We also have access and this is something you know that you never find in any other RV. This is a thermostatic valve. So once you set the temperature of this valve, it always stay at the, stay at the perfect temperature. You just open and close. There is no cold water going on you. You don't need to play with the handle anymore. This is just, uh, you will set up that valve one time when you get the RV and then you never touch it again. And so we can slide that valve in the curtain. We can cover our toilet so we now are protecting it and it gives you a huge space inside. You also don't need to close the door so you have more elbow room as you're taking your shower. We just have now to put that here. The panoramic not only have a thermostatic valve but it also have uh, incredible uh, pressure in the shower similar to what you will find in your house. So for somebody who have long hair and want to rinse them, uh, you have that the pressure to do that. And then you can close those two curtains together and you have great space. But also when you're done with the shower, you can move everything away. And this is, you know, what you get. You get a completely dry shower, completely dry to toilet. Everything was protected. You can leave the curtain to dry a little bit and then you can move it back away behind here and usually this is one nice thing after many days of showering in the RV or many weeks on the road or months on the road the, 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 the toilet and the shower will always remain in that kind of you know perfect uh, cleanliness so it's uh, it's nice for maintenance for those who travel a lot 
we know that uh, spending time on on maintaining or cleaning you know we, there's something else yeah. to do so uh, course, yeah. so that was it with the, the the shower we also have you know for a class b there's a lot of storage space we have a closet here that shelf is adjustable and it can be removed if people wants to hang a lot of uh, things additional cabinet a little bit everywhere on the top here uh, on the top of the other side we also try to use the space here lots of people asking for a compartment to store shoes uh, and to have that near the entrance so you're not trying to search uh, far for things we also have more storage space here under and more storage space here under uh, the the bench seat so everything that uh, we can uh, we can find to uh, to add more space uh, is nice uh, yeah, front too. also yeah at the front there we have uh, in the panoramic we also have what you see here is a very classic build you know the mm -hmm. most of the classic option are here uh, usually it's simple. The panoramic is always that European floor plan and then you can select some option like do you want a TV or no TV, do you want a microwave or no microwave. So there's a few uh, items that you can also personalize the color of the seat, uh, different wheels, different things like that that, uh, that you can uh, select. And, and But the floor plan is always the same. And another point, you know earlier I said Panoramic is a great hybrid between European floor plan, but also North American autonomy. So for us, what is important, we know that people like to spend more time off the grid or, or away from civilization. So we combine that European design with a, a, a large battery pack. We can go up to 600 amp hour. We have two 200 watt solar panels, so lots of solar panel uh, on the top. And we have large tank. We have a 35 gallon fresh, wow. 24 gallon gray, and 19 gallon uh, black, and that gives you a lot of room, you know, for for many showers, for lots of cooking, for uh, using the toilet. So that. And that's important for us. I noticed you have a Centrix uh, inverter. How, how many watts is Th This one is a 3,000 watt 3, uh, inverter. So you can run mm -hmm. that yes. with it. Absolutely. Okay. It's one of the nice feature. You know, I think that people, when they buy a Class B, they like, it's like a Swiss knife. The more tools you yeah. have, mm -hmm. you know, the more different situation you can face and you can, uh, you can be ready for, for anything. So the possibility of running the AC off the battery is something that can be uh, helpful for a lot of people. So that, the Zentrex 3000 allow us to do that and the combination with the Truma Aventa, a more efficient uh, AC also uh, allowed to do that. This is very European too, this skylight. <laughs> yeah, the skylight and it brings more light inside. Uh, that's something that we, uh, that we really like. Uh, and yeah, we, we, we mentioned earlier the windows, you know, this is something very important for us. We can see, you know, a huge window in the dining area, even in the shower, that window is big, you know, so it's oh, wow. nice uh, when we're using the toilet to still have a view and same uh, thing uh, in the uh, room, you know. If you take a shower, people outside. <laughs> no, no, no. I know you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have the curtain there for that, so. And you know, this is small things too, but you know, everything in panoramic is about the design, the ergonomics. We want to give more space. You see, I'm moving freely. The doors are open. Mm -hmm. So that gives yeah. me more space to maneuver sometimes. If, uh, if uh, my partner wants to go at the back and find some clothing and I'm, I'm here uh, working uh, in the kitchen, I can always, you know, step back and let her go. If I have a, a straight door, I'm unable to do that. So I can close for privacy. And these door are, are uh, they have a track at the top, track at the bottom. So they don't shake or rattle when you drive. It's extremely uh, quiet. I mean, the old panoramic is known to be the, the, uh, the, the quietest uh, RV on the road. It's a strong build. But uh, it's also, uh, in terms of quality testing, 
Uh, our level of quality testing is above anything in the industry. Uh, you know, every unit is road tested uh, for vibration. So we do shake tests to make sure that everything uh, is perfect uh, and that people will be able to be on the road and mm -hmm. and enjoy the, the 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 landscape and not worry about the squeaking and the bags. So. Yeah, you, you were telling me something about the insulation too. How yeah. well would this do like in cold weather or something like that? It's a good question. You know, we, we the panoramic is uh, manufactured uh, mostly in Canada, uh, uh, up north in Quebec. So we are used with extreme cold temperature. Uh, this is uh, definitely the best insulation you can find in a van. We use Ruxel wool, a very uh, thick layer of Ruxel wool. And the whole ceiling, the walls, everything is well insulated. Of course, the panoramic with the large window, there's a little bit of heat loss or that's the weak point. But despite that, we were able to obtain a gold certification in the Truma climate uh, chamber. So that's uh, extremely uh, aggressive testing and we were able to, uh, to obtain that. Now, we still have to understand that for winter camping, uh, sometimes uh, maybe in the US it's possible to do winter camping and keep the water inside. But if we are thinking about Canadian winter cold with uh, weeks of extremely uh, extreme cold, uh, it can be, I mean, it can be difficult to bring water or it can be dangerous i, I would yeah. say mm -hmm. all the piping on the panoramic is inside nothing runs outside the fresh tank is inside so it's possible with the truma combi to keep the heat yeah. on and mm -hmm. to manage to go below zero and to extend the season or uh, for some of the people living in a southern state or traveling in a southern state it's it's okay no problem for the winter uh, but uh, again, you know, we, we have to be careful for those using it in full winter yeah, condition. In extreme weather, you yeah. have to, to, be, uh, to be prepared for that. So I am, I'm always, you know, I don't like to, I don't want to advertise it as a full four season because maybe four season in the US, but not four season in yeah, Canada. Exactly, yeah. I have not yet met, met a, a, an RV who can battle with the four season and bring water in the mm -hmm. tanks or in the piping, even with heated tanks. So, uh, but the nice thing is that the insulation is so uh, serious on the panoramic that it's it's not only good for winter; it's also good for summer. When we are using the AC, we don't need to run it as long to keep it cold inside. Mm -hmm. So it works, you know, for uh, both, both ways. ways. So yeah. that's important uh, for us, and it's also a good insulation will also. Uh, reduce the amount of noise that we have mm. from the outside so it's good you know to have a quiet night the better insulation you have the best it is also we use a sound dampening system especially for the wheel wells and in a few areas so when we drive we also have a very quiet rv uh, so it, that's another important thing well us. philip i want to thank you for this detailed tour of <laughs> your panoramic um, i don't know if you can tell me like ballpark how much would something like this would retail for? So the panoramic is definitely ab above, you know, uh, the the uh, a general uh, the general RV market. Uh, the our goal is is to make the best class B possible. Mm -hmm. So we are there for those people who want they're upgrading their RV or they want to have the best of the best. Uh, now I'm gonna share the price of this unit at the Tempa show, but again. Remember, if you're watching this video, that we're moving in time. So, course, especially yeah. with the inflation yeah, price, yeah, or in they one just, or two years, yeah. it could. Yeah, they, we're here as of January 2024. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. So this unit is here for the show, and it's a fully loaded 600 amp of uh, lithium. The old, the old thing. Special wheels, leather seats. I mean, this unit is uh, the the. I would say the top of the top line of the build. Line. So we're getting at the. We're just below the 180,000 uh, range, so 179. Uh, so again, not the cheapest. Uh, this is uh, this is not an entry level uh, RV. This is uh, top of the line, but still extremely competitive. You know, you're, we're not uh, definitely not out of the market, and you have to think that Panoramic is. Uh, we are manufacturer and a dealer. We sell direct everywhere in the U.S. Uh, everywhere in Canada so what it means is that uh, 
you know, we don't uh, we don't have a middleman. And maybe one day we'll work with uh, dealers, but uh, you still, at the end of the day, get a much higher quality for still what is a reasonable uh, pricing in that uh, in that market. Well, thank you, Philip. I really, I really like this, the product that you have built. Uh, it was a pleasure, Robert, to meet you. Thank you very much for stopping you, by. Uh, really uh, a great uh, beginning of the day today with you. So thank you very much for your time. And that's all I have for you this year here at the 2024 Florida RV Super Show. It's been a good one. Until the next one. Thank you so much for watching. And see you on the road. Now, back to regularly scheduled programming. Bye, everybody. Riding in